Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Education Hub. Today we are going to study the structure of the tooth. So watch the video till the end. What we are going to cover in this lecture, we will study the parts of human tooth. What are the functions of human teeth? We will also give, I'll also give you the brief overview of the tissues of the tooth and what are the supporting structures of the tooth. Human tooth comprises of two parts. First part is the crown portion and the second is the root portion. So this is a picture of an anterior tooth, an incisor. So this is the crown portion and this portion is the root portion of the tooth. This is another picture and this is the picture of a posterior tooth, a mandibular molar because it has two roots. This is the crown portion and this is the root portion. So there are two roots. So what are the functions of human teeth? Human teeth have several functions like mastication. So the process of digestion, it begins when the food enter into the oral cavity. The teeth, they cut the food into smaller particles and this process is known as the mastication. So the beginning of digestion, it begins in the oral cavity. The second important function is proper speech. Teeth, they are important for proper pronunciation of words. Teeth together with the oral mucosa, they add beauty to the face. Uh, so imagine in this picture, if the teeth, they are missing, so the person uh, look very anesthetic. The teeth, they also maintain the lower facial height together with the alveolar bone. So when the teeth, they are lost, the nose and the chin, they come close to each other. Human teeth, they also act as a space maintainer. So what does it mean? They prevent, for, uh, they prevent the unnecessary movement of the adjacent teeth or the abnormal tooth movement of the adjacent teeth as well as the, the opposing teeth. So the teeth, they act as a space maintainer. Teeth are also weapon of attack and defense. Uh, they are needed by animals, uh, basically. Humans rarely use uh, their teeth as a weapon of attack and defense. So human teeth, they basically comprises of four tissues. Those are enamel, dentine, pulp, and the cementum. So enamel, dentine, and cementum, these are the hard tissues of the tooth, while the pulp is the soft tissue of the tooth. So this is a picture of the longitudinal section of a molar. Here you can see this is the enamel. This is the dentine. The central portion is the pulp. And the thin line and this thin hard tissue that lines the root dentine is the cementum. So this is the cementum. So this is the longitudinal section of a human molar. Uh, this is how the natural tooth it looks, it appears. So this is a section. This is the enamel covering the coronal dentine. This is the dentine that forms the major part of the tooth, both in the coronal portion and the radicular portion. This portion is the pulp cavity. In the crown portion, the pulp cavity is known as the pulp chamber and this portion is the root canal. In the vital tooth, the pulp chamber and the canal, they are filled with the pulp tissues and the outer part of the root dentine, it is covered by a thin layer of hard tissue that is called cementum. So enamel is a hard mineralized tissue that covers the coronal dentine. It is the most highly mineralized tissue of the human body. The enamel, it comprises of 96% mineral. So it is 96% mineralized and the mineral is basically calcium phosphate, also known as hydroxyapatite. There's only 4% protein, 3% uh, protein and 1% water. 
So 3% protein is are basically amelogenin and the non-amelogenin proteins and enamel do not have any collagen fibers at all. The enamel forming cells are known as the ameloblast. So when the tooth emerge into the oral cavity, uh, the, the enamel forming cells are known as the ameloblast, they lost. So the, re the replacement or regeneration is not possible in enamel. So once the enamel is lost, it cannot be replaced or regenerated. Now, the second heart tissue is the dentine. Dentine form the main bulk of the tooth. So the majority of the tooth structure is formed by dentine. So you can see the majority of the tooth structure, both in the crown portion and in the root portion, it is formed by dentine. So in the coronal, the, the dentine, it is divided into two parts. One is the coronal dentine and this dentine is the radicular dentine. The dentine, it comprises of 70% calcium hydroxypatite. So the inorganic component is 70%. It means it is less mineralized as compared to enamel. Enamel was 96% mineralized. So more organic component as compared to enamel. Enamel has only 3% organic component. So 18% organic component and organic co component basically it comprises of collagen fiber and the collagen is most of the collagen is collagen type 1. Beside the collagen there are some non collagenous proteins such as uh, osteopontin, osteonectin, dentine sialoprotein and 12% water. So the water is more in the structure of the dentine. Dentine is resilient and vital. It, it has tubules, absorb the forces of mastication and prevent the fracture of the enamel, overlying enamel. Dentine, it is capable of repair and regeneration because the formative cells, they are present inside the dental pulp. So uh, the repair and the regeneration is possible and the stem cells are present in the vital tooth in the dental pulp. So the repair and the regeneration is possible for uh, in case of dentine. The next heart tissue is the cementum. Cementum, it covers the root dentine. So a thin layer is present over here. This is the cementum. Covers the root dentine. So this is the furcation area. You can see the dentine over here. So this thin layer is the, is the cementum that covers the root dentine. Cementum, it comprises of 50% inorganic material that is also comprises of hydroxypatite, less than the enamel and dentine, 35% organic material. The organic material is comprises of collagen type 1 mainly and the known collagen is protein and 12% water. Pulp is a soft connective tissue that is present within the center of the tooth and it is surrounded by dentine. The pulp cavity, it opens at the apex and the, these openings are known as the apical foramen. So these openings are known as apical foramen. From here, the blood and the nerve vessels, they enter and they leave the tooth. Now the tooth, it comprises of various heart tissues. So those heart tissues, they form union with each other. They form junctions. Those junctions, the first junction is the cemento enamel junction. So these are the models of the maxillary lateral, permanent maxillary lateral incisors. Here you can see the, the root. This is the root and it is covered by cementum. And this is the portion represent the enamel. So this junction between the enamel and the cementum is the cemento enamel junction, also referred as CEJ. Another junction is the dentino enamel junction. So this is again the longitudinal section of mandibular molar. So this is the dentine. This is the enamel. So this junction between this union between enamel and dentine is known as the dentino enamel junction. So this is the dentino enamel junction and they are firmly attached with each other. Also known as the DEJ. Another junction is the cemento dentinal junction. The root dentine, it is covered by cementum. This is a thin layer of cementum that is normally present on the 
root dentine. So the cementum and the dentine, they form a junction or a union. Or in this junction or this interface where the cementum and the dentine, they are attached with each other is known as the cementodentinal junction. So this is the cementodentinal junction. So the human teeth, they are attached with the bone with the help of a specialized fibrous tissue and it forms a joint. That joint is known as the gum fossas. Uh, the supporting tissues of the tooth are cementum, periodontal ligament, alveolar process, and the gingiva. All four supporting tissues, they are known as the periodontium. So this is a picture of a mandibular molar so the supporting tissues are number one is the cementum. So this is the cementum. So within the cementum, the periodontal ligaments, they are attached with the cementum. So this second is the periodontal ligament. So these are the periodontal ligaments. The, the periodontal ligaments, they are on the another end, they are embedded within the alveolar process. So this is the alveolar process. Some of the periodontal ligaments, they are embedded within the connective tissue of the gingiva. So gingiva, it also provides support to the tooth. So this is the gingiva. So these are the supporting tissues of the tooth. Thank you very much. Uh, do give me your feedback. Uh, you can also ask questions in the comments. So I'll be looking for your feedback. And again, thank you and stay blessed.